Georgia's incarceration rate has been the highest in the nation. In a major effort to prevent further overcrowding of the state prisons, an alternatives to incarceration program has been initiated which gives the courts a greater array of sentencing options. I think the significance of the Georgia program is in providing judges a, a number of programs other than a prison sentence. Georgia's program begins, of course, on the most basic level with regular street probation. Uh, if this is not sufficient in the judge's mind, he may then sentence the offender to a diversion center, 24-hour control supervision. I'm the director of the Griffin Diversion Center. Here, a person as life is given back to him. And what we mean by that is we take no responsibilities for him, but we clearly outline the consequences of his decisions. Well, at first, I didn't like it, but after you grow to accept it, it's, it's a lot better than prison or a reputation that I'd never lived down. The final step and the most restrictive of all is the shock incarceration program. It's a very intense experience. Get your feet at a 45 degree angle. Chest out. Head knob off straight to the front. Get your hands in, boy. Get them that way. I don't want to ever see you out of that way again. You hear me? Say it, sir! I think that you would find in talking with uh, offenders, probationers who have been sentenced to the alternative programs, the fact that they've been able to maintain their jobs, to keep their families together.